Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 13. Today, I want to discuss uh, studying for your amateur radio license exam. Some of the methods that you can do this make it quite easy. In order to broadcast on an amateur radio, on the amateur radio bands, you must obtain an amateur radio license. To enter, and to attain this license, you must take an exam. And this exam is uh, either 35 questions or 50 questions, depending on what class you're trying to get a license for. And there are three classes. The lowest class is the technician class. The next class level up is the general class. And the top class is the extra class. And each of these classes give you uh, certain privileges and certain bands that you can transmit on. Now you can always listen to the amateur radio bands. Uh, you don't need a license to listen, of course. But in order to broadcast those bands, you need a license and you must take an exam to qualify for that license. Now, um, as I said, the exam is uh, a subset of a pool of questions I think it's like 396 questions and it's like 35 questions or 50 questions depending on which test it is out of that pool that is given to you and you must keep score a 75 uh, percent on that exam or higher in order to pass and get your license now those questions are fixed uh, the, the question is is fixed and the answers are fixed, and you, both of those are known. Um, you can go to the AWRL website and download the whole pool of questions and go through the questions yourself. Or you can use some of the uh, study tools that I will show you today to make it easier to study for that test, especially if you don't have anybody that can help you study and ask, ask questions and you know, kind of do a, a semi-testing for you before you do the real test. So let's go to my um, screen and I'll show you a couple of those websites. Okay, the first website I want to show you, website I want to show you, <laughs> sorry about that, <clears throat> is the AWR website. And uh, specifically, if you go to ARRL.org, slash question dash pools this is where I'm at and this gives you if, you if I scroll down here you can download the entire pool of questions that your exam will be taken from you can get them for the technician questions for the general class questions and for the extra class so that that's where you can see the entire pool of questions all at once as I said before, the exam that they give you, which can be give, which will, uh, there, there are examiners in your locale, uh, in some of the major cities, and also uh, some of your amateur radio clubs have people that are qualified to give you the exam and grade you and determine whether you passed or failed. So that's how you, that's where you take the test. So you, uh, now. We go to this first one here. This is the one I think as far as online exams. Yeah, the, as far as online exams, this is the one I like the best. And I'll show you why. This is at qrz.com slash ham slash. And down here it shows you kind of a little icon of what it's going to look like. And then you can s click on start to test. And then you can select whether you want to study for the technician class or the general class or the extra class. And we'll just pick the first one, which is the technician class. And then, as I said before, each exam consists of 35 questions out of this big pool. And so what you do on this particular website is you choose a different test each time you want to uh, run through the uh, studying for the exam. And it will give you another set of 35, different set of 35 questions. And you can study those. So you need to go through all of them, of course, because you don't know what you're going to see on the real exam. Then you can also select how fast you want to run this test. 
and that means um, um, how much first how much time it gives you to answer the question if you pick fast speed or medium speed or what I like is to uh, pick wait for the correct answer and I'll show you how that works that's the option I like so I'm going to select that begin the test now what it does when you select this option it gives you the test question it gives you the answers and I forgot to mention this is a multiple choice um, test question multiple choice answer question questionnaire or exam and you're giving the four options which you have to choose the correct answer and what this option does is if you select the wrong answer it will tell you and I'll show you I'm gonna select um, the wrong answer for this question I'm gonna select D and it tells me that's a wrong answer so then it eliminates that option uh, under the choices and I can go back and now and try again now since I my first attempt was wrong I'm going to score a, a, a zero or a fail on this particular question so you you really just like in the real exam you don't get a multiple tries at the answer but this gives you multiple tries so you can kind of helps you to learn what the correct answer is so now if I choose B 30 volts I get the correct answer so now I got the correct answer. I don't get any points for that because I didn't get it on the first one. Now I can manually go to the next question. There's the next question. Do the same thing. Um, or I can go back. I can go back. I can use the arrow to go back. And then it gives me a running score of um, how I'm doing in the test percentage-wise. I got a zero so far, even though I have took... Uh, answered the first question correctly on the second try I didn't get any points for that so that's kinda of how that works I really like that one now the next one is at AA 9 PW and they have over here a practice test similar to the other one but a little different and I'll show you how so I'm gonna select the, the technician class select tech exam now this is presented almost exactly like it it is when you take the exam and, and this is an example uh, of an exam and it gives you the question gives you the uh, choices you select the choice and you go down the exam to the next question so on down and down all the way down through 35 questions um, and then it grades you gives you a grade and then you can go back do it again it'll give you a n different set of questions and you can do it again and eventually get through all the questions. So that's two methods to help you online study for your exam. Now, another thing that I found is a YouTube set of videos that will go through these questions and give you a lot of explanation. Let me go over to that right now. Okay, this is done by Andy, and Andy has given me permission to show you an example of his uh, videos he's he's done all the videos for the technician uh, level exam and he's now working on the general class and then eventually he'll do the advanced or extra class and uh, like I say he, this is done very professionally um, please go to his uh, YouTube webpage and view these they will be very helpful in studying for the exam um, his um, channel is the ham whisperer kind of like the dog whisperer the ham whisperer and this is just some of the videos he's done he's done other videos but this is the ones that really caught my eye as far as preparing for the test and I'll just roll this one for a few seconds and kind of give you an idea of what it's like
there's a message for you. Okay, that was an example of Andy's uh, videos on YouTube. Like I said, they're very uh, professionally done, uh, very helpful. Um, and you can use all of these things that I've talked about. You can use all those websites to study for exam. 